In this video, we are going to set up AWS budget for our AWS account and we are going to create a billing alerts. We are going to refer this document. But first, why are we going to create this? I'll show you a photo and you will get the idea why we are going to set up a billing alert. This is the AWS bill received to my friend. For one month, she got a bill of 31,750 and according to her, she just launched few of the instances. And she might have forgotten to terminate it but this is a huge bill for students like us i don't want you to get this huge bill so i'll help you out but first you need to subscribe to this video let me also show you my account i have set up a budget so that you get the idea why you should set up your budget my bill for the month of february as you can see it's zero i am paying zero for jan I'm also paying zero. I'm Decem in December. I also paid zero. You might think I'm not using any of the services, but that's not the case. I'm using a lot of service. I'm using EC2 for around $19. I'm using a lot of services, but why I am paying zeros? It's because I have credits. I have a lot of credits here. You, as you can see, I have a lot of credits. I used $23 this month. If you want to know how I got the credits or if you want to get these credits as well, you can let me know in the comment section and I'll make a separate video to get credits. So let's set up a budget and create billing alerts so we get the emails from the AWS whenever a cost exceed, you'll get a bill, you'll get an email like this. Uh, so I got a, like your AWS account has exceeded 85% of usage limit whenever you get the bill. You can just terminate the service or you can just stop it. So you don't need to pay extra money like this. You don't need to pay extra money like this 31,000 for single month. So to set up a budget, you need to log in with an root account or an IAM account, which has billing permission. I am logged in with my AWS IAM account, which has billing permission. You can use your root account for this. And first you need to go to this billing preferences you need to check all the things that I've checked here. The first is receive PDF invoice by emails. Turn on this feature to receive PDF version invoice by email. Invoices are generally available within the first three days of the month. Whenever you get the bill, you'll get the bill in the form of PDF. So you can keep it as a record. So you need to check this feature. The second is receive free tier usage alerts. Whenever you exceed or whenever you use more of the free tier, you'll receive email alerts from AWS on your email ID. The email will look like this so that you can prevent yourself from getting a bill. The third option is receive billing alerts. Turn on this feature to monitor your AWS usage. So you need to check all the three features and you need to enter your email ID here. I'll enter mine. Champ dot com and you need to save your preferences i'll go ahead and save it preference is saved so this has set up your billing alerts now we will set up our aws budget to set up a budget we need to use a service name as cloudwatch you can search cloudwatch in the search console so that's the cloudwatch service click on cloudwatch here in the cloudwatch dashboard you need to select alarm and click on create alarm select metric you can select billing here and click on total estimated charge if you don't see this you have not checked this option you need to check this option then and then you can see this screen so click on total estimated charge select the currency that is USD dollar select metric and you'll get the interface like this click let it be static and whenever estimated charges is greater than or equal to let's say five dollars we want aws to send us an email and you don't need to do this configuration we will create an sns topic we will learn about sns in the further sessions no need to complicate things now let's create a new topic you can name this topic and whatever you want. 
I'll leave it like this. You have to enter the email on which you want to receive budget emails. So I'll enter my email. You can also enter more than one email if you want, like user one example.com, user two example.com. So enter the email. After entering the email, click on create topic. Once created, you need to confirm the email as well. So now let's scroll down and click on next. Give the name for the alarm. We'll give this AWS budget alarm and description is alarm for AWS budget. All right, let's click on next. You'll get an interface like this. Review the detail and click on create alarm. Now if you check, this is the alarm we have here. It is showing OK. You need to confirm the email. So in your email ID, you will get an email from AWS like this, AWS notification. You need to click on this and confirm the subscription so that they will confirm this is your email ID to, to provide you the emails in future submit will click on confirmation and the subscription has been confirmed so now we have created the budget and whenever the cost is five dollars or greater than five dollars we will get an email from the aws team notifying about the cost so that we can come to the console and stop the services that we don't need so we don't get a huge bill i hope this was informative and you have created your budget so please like this video subscribe to this channel and follow along for more aws and devops videos have a good day